Do you think you know Samuel L. Jackson? Well, here's some things you may not have known about this billion dollar actor. You know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in France? No. Tell him, Vincent. Royale with cheese. Royale with cheese. You know why they call it that? Uh, because of the metric system? Check out the big brain on bread! Samuel L. Jackson was born in 1948 in Washington, D.C., but grew up in Chattanooga, Tennessee. During his childhood, he attended several segregated schools and became active in the Civil Rights Movement. After the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Jackson acted as one of the ushers at King's funeral. Later, while attending Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia, Jackson and several other students took several members of the college's board of trustees hostage, demanding that the school bring reform to its curriculum. Though the school did make the changes, Jackson and the other students were arrested and charged with unlawful confinement. After a two-year suspension, Jackson returned to Morehouse College and completed his education, earning a Bachelor of Arts in Drama. While he was growing up, Jackson had a problem with a stutter, which caused other kids to make fun of him. This caused Jackson to study harder and get smarter as a form of revenge against those bullies. Eventually, he was able to mostly overcome the stutter by, quote, pretending to be other people who didn't stutter. However, Jackson still has some problem days when he exclaims mother his favorite word, to overcome it. Jackson began working as an actor in the early 70s, first appearing in the 1972 film Together for Days. Early in his career, Jackson was mentored by fellow actor Morgan Freeman, worked as a stand-in for Bill Cosby for The Cosby Show, and befriended director Spike Lee, who would include Jackson in his films School Days and Do the Right Thing. During the 1980s, Jackson became addicted to several drugs, including heroin and alcohol. He gave up heroin in favor of cocaine after overdosing on the drug several times. His addictions eventually got so bad that his family entered him into a rehabilitation clinic in New York. After exiting rehab, Jackson portrayed cocaine addict Gator in Spike Lee's Jungle Fever, a role he described as cathartic. I like getting high. Uh, I'm a Jackson is a frequent collaborator of director Quentin Tarantino, first working with the director in 1993's True Romance, a movie that Tarantino wrote. The following year, Tarantino approached Jackson with the part of Jules Winfield in Pulp Fiction, a part that Tarantino wrote specifically for Jackson. Though Pulp Fiction was Jackson's 30th film credit, it was the film that launched him into international recognition. In 1999, Jackson appeared in the horror film Deep Blue Sea as Russell Franklin. Jackson was initially offered the role of the preacher for the film, but turned it down. That part was eventually given to LL Cool J. Jackson later joined the film after learning that the part of Franklin was created specifically for him and that the character had a memorable death. First, we're gonna seal off this George Lucas offered Samuel L. Jackson the role of Jedi Master Mace Windu. Jackson requested that his character have a purple lightsaber. Lucas initially said no, but then surprised Jackson when they were doing reshoots. Another lightsaber surprise? Mace Windu's lightsaber has BMF engraved on it. What does BMF stand for? Bad motherfucker. A nod to Jules' wallet from Pulp Fiction. He also requested that Windu be given a spectacular death scene, since the events of the prequel trilogy would inevitably call for the character's passing. When Marvel released an alternate universe version of their comic books called The Ultimate Universe, they vastly redesigned their character Nick Fury. Jackson gave the company permission to use his likeness for the character, and their visual similarity is even noted in the comic books themselves, with Fury stating Jackson should portray him if they ever made a movie about the Avengers. Jackson would later appear as the character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, starting with 2008's Iron Man. Due to Jackson's multiple appearances in several large franchise films, he is the highest grossing all-time box office star, currently sitting at a total of $4.9 billion earned across all of his films. His average is $69.1 million per film. And here's a bonus one, Jackson is an admitted fan of anime, and even helped produce an animated adaptation of Afro Samurai. Jackson voices the title character, and is set to produce a live-action adaptation of the property. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Movies. Make sure to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.